All right, good morning. Today is September the 7th. So, um, I'm a... I'm gonna I'm I'm say I'm a medium time beekeeper. I've been doing it for about, I think this is the I think we're finishing up the seventh season right now, and one of the bane's of um, beekeeping ma maintaining your equipment is these smokers um, like to build up this really really thick carbon on here, and I've. And usually we'll just we'll just take um, a propane torch and heat it up, and you're trying to heat up the outside and just burn that crud off, and and it, it never seems to really do a good job. Um, so the other day I was doing the other um, smoker, and I came up came up came up with something that works pretty well. Um, it, but I, I ran out of it, so we're going to try something different today. Um, so the other day on my other smoker, I used a brake cleaner. I would just spray inside the crud here, just a quick spraying, and then I would do the same thing on the inside. Um, what happens is the smoker hole here gets plugged up with um, carbon, your soot. Like It's kind of like a chimney effect. It's exactly like a chimney effect. The, it gets so thick in, in here. I mean, you're either scraping with a screwdriver, but you'll never get this like new, new clean. When, when, you first, when you get your first smoker, everything works really well and it draws nicely. At, but as, you ate, as they age, um, I think this is our original one, um, they, they just they plug up and, and they're a pain in the butt. So the billows um, have a small hole back in here and there's there's no pipe actually actually attaching it so the air comes through and it jumps a finger's width and there's another little pipe here that goes into the base of the the smoker and this one's not horrible but the other one was horribly horribly bad so we're going to try um some heat your fuel line antifreeze that's what we use in um, I'll use it as a cleaning agent for if my, if my hands are extremely greasy at work. Um, we'll spray a little bit of this on us, or we'll use brake cleaner and stuff. So it's, it's probably really close to the, the same stuff, and it should work. But we'll just give it a little drizzle here. I got a pan here. I don't want my truck to catch on fire. Since it's done dripping, I'm going to toss the rest in here. But the brake cleaner works really well. All right, that's good. And all, and all this is is basically an alcohol base. All right. So I don't know if you can see that or not. And this stuff will just caramelize to an ash. And it will... Um, easily brush out with a wire brush here when I'm done. So, tried it this year. And this is the, first, this is the second time I've done it. And it works really well, and um, you you just can't scrape these things well enough, or hit them with a propane torch. They just don't get hot enough to uh, make sure there's no burning going on. I think we're all right. So give me a thumbs up. This might, this will save you guys some time, and it does a much better job. You can see down there the hole. It's uh, really. Um, starting to burn out clear already and I haven't even brushed it yet so give me a thumbs up you guys have a blessed day